The Latin American film industry is growing, with some of its brightest stars winning major movie awards around the world. One of its biggest supporters is Ivan Trujillo, director of the Guadalajara International Film Festival in Mexico. The film fest began 30 years ago, and now it's become one of the most prestigious in the world, a launching pad for the region's newest talent because of Trujillo, this week's Urban Voice. Mexican cinema, it's, uh, I, I would say, eclectic. It's a place where you can do now what you want. To get up the, the production and get the money, it's, it's a difficult, but you can make any kind of project. These days in Mexico, you could say the country is catching film fever. And a big reason for the excitement is the International Film Festival in Guadalajara. In the 80s, was, uh, we have a, a lady who was the, the main authority in cinematography that everybody hates, <laughs> that, that, that lady, and she says, uh, we have to make film for, every, for everybody. Yeah. And there's a, a nice thing is film for all publics, she, she say. And I always am convinced that there is not film for all publics, but we have public for all kinds of films. So that's why we had to, to, to bring, to find that public. And, and Mexico has a great diversity, people that are interested in some specific things. Ivan Trujillo is the festival's director. This festival started to be only Mexican films, and it was and it started in the moment that there was a big crisis. But it was crazy at that moment because there was no chance to do Mexican films doesn't exist because there was not a public for Mexican films. It was a big gap. <laughs> After 30 years, this festival is a huge event and that opens the, the, the window for, to all the, the, the cinematographies. It's a, a way to defend and to promote our cinema to the world. Now uh, we have uh, more than 20 different sections. So that's really the, the how from a very small uh, showcase 30 years ago that were 12 films, now we have to show around 300. There are the three main walls of the, that we try to cover with, with the festival. Of course, to bring cinematography culture to the people of Guadalajara, the, where po the population can have access to, uh, to the pace of cinema, not only Mexican and, and, and Ibero-American, but also internationally. That's the reason why we invite every year a special country as a guest of honor. Secondly, of course, is uh, in the industry to promote our cinema and to still develop new policies to get a, a meeting point to all the industry members where they can develop new projects, sell films, and talk about them. And last also, of course, to bring international people to share that also, that knowledge and, and to know also our, our, our cinema. Mexican Alfonso Cuaron is a regular visitor to the festival. He also happens to be Latin America's first Oscar winner for Best Director, an award he won for his 2013 science fiction film, 
gravity. Este es un foro. Es un foro donde, donde nuevas voces, nuevas y, nuevas y viejas voces están, exhiben sus, sus obras. Y creo que es un, un foro fundamental. Definitivamente para el cine mexicano es un foro fundamental. Pero también es un marco de referencia dentro del circuito de festivales internacionales. Success stories like Alfonso Cuarón, along with Alejandro González y Yoritu, who made Hollywood history by winning back-to-back -back Best Director Oscars for The Revenant and Birdman, have inspired a new generation of movie makers in Mexico. Film schools in Mexico are filled with new talent and considered to be Latin America's best. This is a generation that is more global, yeah? They like to, be, to work in Mexico, they want to, to talk about the reality, the surroundings, but the borders are really not exist in a, in a way, and for them they could do a film that is uh, happening in Mexico, but it's just very similarity to uh, Middle East or Europe. Director Fernando Labrija grew up in Guadalajara. Now a resident of Los Angeles, he has come back to his hometown for the festival. It features the world premiere of his film Sundown, a teen comedy written in English but filmed in Mexico. And I want to make global movies, and I think it was the best opportunity to do it, and we took it, and, and, uh, and we know that English is kind of the language of the movies around the world, so why put all that money and that effort doing a movie if they're going to see it just in one country? So now we, if you do it like in English, now you have a little more globally, uh, you know, like, uh, projection, you know, for the movie. You can tell it's a Mexican movie, you know, either, even if in English or not, but if it's made by Mexican filmmakers, you can see that little spot of Mexican uh, new realism, and, and that's what identifies our movie, our industry and our movies. Mexico has a lot of restrictions in the government. There's a lot of like impunity, corruption, and it's our way to, to speak up and to tell stories and, uh, and to just make our own like strikes. And I think we filmmakers are the ones that are speaking out instead of like going with weapons and do a revolution. We're doing a revolution with images and sound and cinema. While over 140 movies are filmed in Mexico each year, not all of them make it into the movie theaters. It's easier to get a product, yeah? but it's also more complicated also to put it in the screen. We are having a moment that the films are being consumed in, in other ways, and, and, and young people again is able to see a film in, in a cell phone, something that for me would be like an insult, but it works. Mexican actor Diego Luna sees the distribution dilemma as an opportunity in disguise. Hay que seguir trabajando obviamente mucho para que ahora las películas duren en exhibición y además eh, eh, no solo sea en los cines donde encuentran a su público, ¿no? Cada vez hay, hay más hay más mecanismos para llegar a la gente y, y, y estamos aprendiendo a utilizarlos. The Mexican films are arriving to that new different windows with success. Mexican films and the special Mexican filmmakers are working in all the levels. Lo que pasó a mí es un par de años. No se puede comparar esas cosas que son fenómenos mediáticos con un legado. Y si uno puede tener el legado de Felipe, hijo, eso ya uno no puede aspirar a muchas cosas más. If it keeps up what we're doing right now, we're going to be one of the best teams in the world for sure, like soccer. We're not the best team in soccer, but we're going to be like the Brazilians of soccer in filmmaking. In 2017, Germany will be the guest of honor at the International Film Festival in Guadalajara. Fernando Labrija's romantic comedy Sundown will be released in the United States on May 13th.